Okay, so, uh, hi, uh, my name is Adam, I'm known online as Tonos178, um, I was going through some, uh, some CDs, uh, in my closet, uh, yesterday, and I stumbled across some old Doom stuff that I used to have, I used to play Doom a lot when I was a kid, um, when it first came out, and, um, was a pretty avid wad maker back then, and, uh, I remembered that I had gotten, um, a couple of, uh, uh wad CDs back in the day, um, uh, Demon Gate being one of them, which was a collection of amateur wads, as I recall, and uh, the Master Levels for Doom 2 as well. And I found both of those CDs in my closet, and I thought, you know, it might be fun to go back and play some of these wads and uh, maybe just do a little series on um, what these wads were like. Uh, most of the wads on these CDs are amateur, um, but the Master Levels were actually uh, quite well done, as I recall. I don't think I ever played all of them, so I'm going to be in for something new here, and even the ones I did play, I'm certain I'm not going to remember them, so... Should be fun. Uh, my plan here is to just go down the list of the master levels, and we might touch on Demon Gate a bit later. Uh, I did notice there is some overlap between the wads that they contain. So, uh, master levels does actually include a list of uh, Doom One wads as well, despite being called master levels for Doom Two. Um, so we're just going to start on the first one here. Um, also. Uh, as the series goes forward, I'm going to try to get a better mic. I know my mic has a little uh, background noise coming through right now. Don't know what's up with that. I'm just using my wireless headset. Apparently the noise cancellation is just not doing it for a recording, so uh, you just have to bear with me on that for now. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the first wad in line here. Uh, we've got one here called one-on-one -on -one wad, and we got a text file, always helpful. Um, especially for these wads where, you know, they aren't E1M1, right? So this one's E2M4, which, you know, okay... Usually to do, the reason to do that is because you want to um, use a specific track of music in the game with your WAD, but in this case they provided their own music, it would seem. So, uh, yeah, I don't know why E2M2 then, or E2M4 rather, um, but hey, let's go with it. So, uh, always fun to look through these because you can see they were using various old Doom editors like DEU and uh, whatnot. And, uh, t sometimes they talk about, like, the system requirements and whatnot. Look at this, talking about BBSs and diskettes and whatnot. Really old school stuff here. But uh, it doesn't look like there's much in terms of replacement. Uh, new sounds, musical background. Maybe it's just the music. I don't know if there will be new sounds or not. New sky texture, that's always fun to see. Uh, no difficulty settings, so we'll probably just go for ultraviolence for most of these. Uh, I don't know why Don't Be a Wuss is there if you didn't provide uh, difficulty settings, since, you know, whatever. Um, looks like they do have co-op and deathmatch. I'm not super concerned about the WADs um, multiplayer uh, aspects. I'm going to be mostly focusing on single player. So um, I'll probably skip over WADs on here that are like deathmatch only, because they're not going to be that interesting from a single player standpoint. So, But yeah, it looks like we can start with this one right here. You know, typical stuff. Uh, so I guess we'll give a shout out to uh, uh, Rob Sarsarito. Uh, I guess he goes by Cisco. I yeah, don't know if he's still around, still making wads. I don't imagine it's, it's been a long time. So let's just uh, start it up here and see what's what. Uh, we'll be playing on Z-Doom for uh, most of these. Um, so let's uh, hope that the uh, OBS starts picking up this full screen wider way. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay, so we're going to go new game. And we're going to do ultraviolence. And... Uh, the wad was on what was it E2M4, so we'll ID clev our way over to E2M4. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this brings back memories. I don't know what was with this trend way back when, but um, for whatever reason, a lot of amateur wads seem to really like using uh, music from Star Wars. Uh, so apparently we've got one of those. Um, let's just have a look. Oh, okay, that opened automatically. What do we got down here? We've got a door. Okay, I'm just going to kind of look around a little bit. Um, okay, well, there's the exit. Red key door. Alright. All these open on their own. We've got a yellow door. Seen some misaligned textures here a little bit. You can kind of see the edges of the yellow key strip there. That's supposed to be a 16 pixel uh, texture, it looks like. And the door is a little wider than it needs to be, so... Just a little, little minor uh, issues right off the bat. Okay, it looks like we got another bear door here, so let's just go down this way and see what's what. Okay, so right away we can see we've got the red and blue skull keys out there. And, uh... Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Um, hi. How are we doing? Uh, so, uh, right into the action, it would seem. Alright, I'm just not gonna mess with these guys. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight across. Uh, I hope that music's not too loud. It's actually really loud in my ears. 
Okay. Take out some of these imps here. Where's my uh, health and ammo? There we go. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. Eh, no, I'm not. I don't like it. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I typically like having the bar down there, but I think for the purposes of this, I'm just going to leave it full screen. So what do we got here? We got uh, mega armor over there. We got some dead dudes. Got some health. And whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well, that's a blue door, so no business being here. Okay, so um, already um, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> deduct some points here um, from my uh, particular review of this one. Okay, so we've got cyber demons just uh, chilling. Uh, don't know if I'm going to have to fight those later or what the deal is. Um, I hope not. Uh, this looks like we may have, like, a E4, M2 kind of situation here, where, yes, there is a Cyber Demon in the level, but you don't technically have to fight it. Um, it's just there with a pretty narrow range of fire. Got a shotgun guy up there, kind of bumming around. I'll take him out. So, anyways, um, we're gonna just head back here, because we don't have a blue key. Blue key's over there. Just kind of head on back, and there was another door out here we could check out, so let's go check it out. Uh, this one. Okay. Okay. So we got a pinky here, and... What, are we going to play chess? What's the deal here? Um, hmm. Now, <clears throat> this looks suspicious to me. Um, <laughs> hmm. What's going to... Yeah, are these crushers? I bet these are crushers, aren't they? Yep, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm going to have to make a run for whatever that is over there. Uh, okay. Oh, just a pit. Oh, well, all right then. Hi. Okay, so we, okay, these little nooks are seem to be lighting up as you walk into them. So, kind of tight corridors here. Um, this reminds me of another wad, but I can't for the life of remember what it is. The tight corridors. Okay, oh, we got some, some stairs here, and then there was another hallway behind us there. I wonder where this goes. Okay, so we're revealing um, some enemies here. Just going to take them out, so I have to deal with them later. Yeah, we got a little outdoor area. Okay, so there's our new sky texture. Um, got a little courtyard with some of the uh, hellscape trees and stuff of that nature. Little power-ups and bonuses and whatnot. Nice little uh, little uh, light here. That's kind of a little cool addition there. I like that. Um, okay, so we got a switch up there and a little computer room or something. We're going to need to go up there eventually, but it doesn't look like we can get there from here. No. All right, so I don't know what the purpose of this little outdoor area is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so uh, another point to make here is um, the uh, the ceiling of the sky texture here is uh, equal with the ceiling of the indoors, and that's what's yielding kind of that paper thin ceiling effect there. Um, interesting thing about um, skies in uh, oh whoa, we got a little little hall of mirrors effect there or something going on, but. Uh, interesting thing about sky textures in Doom, um, there aren't actually open spaces in Doom. They just do a very good job of faking it. And um, what's actually going on here is the uh, the ceiling texture uh, in this room is actually the same height as the one right here with, with the brown stone. Um, it's just that sky textures have a special method of rendering where they render to your viewport rather than to the geometry that they're actually uh, would normally be painted on. So that's why as you look around, the sky seems to move more relative to your uh, viewport or your monitor than it does to the geometry and the level. And that's by design. Uh, it's kind of a nifty little hack that they uh, put into the game to kind of give the illusion of outdoor areas. Um, you can see that it does pan horizontally, but as you move back and forth, the sky texture does not move vertically. It is locked to the vertical um, orientation of your viewport. So anyways, just a little Doom trivia for you there. Uh, of course, I expect a lot of people watching this probably already know that, so... Okay, so not much out there. We'll just head back towards this little corridor. Oh, well, that opened up. Anything else? No? Okay, well, I'll take that. Thank you. Uh, this smells like a pinky hallway. I might need that chainsaw, but we'll see. Now, I have seen this effect before with the red lines on the walls and the ceiling. Again, I don't remember what wad, but I have a suspicion that it was the same author. I'll bet you. Maybe we'll run into it as we're doing the series. So, okay, let's, uh... So, seeing a startling lack of door textures here, I'm just having to guess a lot of the time where there's a door. 
So, um, prefer, prefer to see some door textures rather than just these kind of uh, generic textures like this. Okay, we got a little very tight quarters here. Um, a lot of misaligned texture. Oh, oh, there was. Okay, I guess we're not going back that way. Where are we right now? All right. Some kind of maze. Okay, we're, we're in a computer maze, you know, kind of like E1, M2 a bit. Hello, how you doing? Okay, is this just like a cross type thing, or what's going on? All right. Well, we've come all the way back around. I didn't see any doors or exits, so um, there must be there must be another hidden door here. Again, this is this is definitely a deduction of points. Not that I'm keeping score, but you know, definitely a, a, a point in the amateurish category. Uh, having hidden doors that aren't actually secrets that they're required to move forward in the level. So um, let's see here. I guess the only thing I can do is just kind of start pressing around, you know. Uh, maybe. Okay. We're back around to the front now. Yeah, that misaligned thing there was the elevator. So just coming around, coming around, checking, checking, checking. Oh! Found it. Again, we've got paper-thin walls again. I, not a not a particularly good design. Um, the door track is moving with the door. That's the lack of a lower unpeg on that texture. Um, what do we got? Any enemies? Looks like we might have a couple teleport pads down there. Let me just grab this real quick. Um, so I came in... So, and of course, there's a door on this side. Interesting, a little, little inconsistent. Uh, these textures, a little misaligned. You know, you got a cut off computer monitor there. Didn't seem like um, lining up on the grid was a high priority for this author. I'm gonna go left first. Oh, okay. Okay, so it brought me up here where the uh, the keys were. Okay, very good, very good. Anything along here? Oh, seems to I have found a secret. Very nice. I had a feeling that. These uh, burn textures were marking something. Hey, you want to knock that off? I'll grab that red key real quick. And again, just had a feeling that there was a door at the end there because, well, I'm starting to get the uh, the flow that this author had set forth. Uh, I'm just going to kind of... This is a door? Yeah, of course it is. Okay, well, we know that these cyber demons are up there. Kind of don't want to go back that way because we still don't have a blue key so I'm just gonna head back this way so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we've got two side hallways up here overlooking this area and we had two teleporters back in that computer room I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the other teleporter probably takes us to that blue key let's go see if we can confirm that theory I don't know if I can make it on one go yeah so there's another line def over here that stops these apparently yeah you just hear them stop there um, <clears throat> it was down this way. Uh, follow, follow, follow. Follow, follow, follow. And, um... Back in the elevator. We're gonna hop back down here in just a sec. I don't know if that actually goes up anywhere. Can't really see the top of it. Um, so back in here. And we went left last time. Let's go right this time. Yep, yep, sure enough. Um, looks like a door down there open. Whoa, what's that? Is this a door? It is! Rocket Launcher. Uh, I'm not going to use it, just in case we do have to fight those Cyber Demons. Um, I hope we don't. I really hope we don't. Oh, interesting. Well, that's not a secret, I guess. Three more secrets on this map? Anything down here? No? Okay. Alright, well, just head on down this way. Oop. Now, okay, I see a teleporter, but is... Again, missing a lower unpeg on these door tracks. It looks kind of amateur as, hey, secret. Okay, well, this is a big point in uh, the category of gonna be fighting those cyber demons. Um, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Anything else in here? The secret actually uh, puts me in a very uh, Wolf 3D mindset. I don't know why, maybe just the size and shape of the room and the colors of the walls or something. Again, not a great use of these door textures. Um, oh, I guess we're stuck in here now. So I hope that's a teleporter. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, there's the yellow key. And I do believe the yellow key is what we needed for the... Uh... Oh, well, all right then. Well, we have all the keys now, so... Wait, okay, so... We haven't been that way, but we have all the keys... 
So, what's preventing me from just leaving? I mean, this required a red key. Okay, so, presumably this exits the level. A soul sphere right at the exit. Eh. Why do I get the impression that this is a trick of some kind? Because, well, I guess it doesn't matter now, does it? Okay, so, again, if this isn't the exit, then, well, fair enough, I guess, but, like, these kind of things where you can't get back to where you were are a little irritating, you know, pit traps that you can't get out of. Even pit traps that, you know, you can't get out of but include acid that will eventually kill you are kind of annoying, but they did use them in Doom 2 quite a bit, um... Tricks and traps comes to mind, but, uh... Okay, so that is the exit. So I guess just whatever was behind the yellow door just wasn't important. So, um, not a huge fan of that. I think, um, generally you want, uh, key doors to, um, have some purpose in the level, some meaning, some, some, um, some purpose within the flow of, uh, finding the exit of level. Now, that's not always the case. That's just my personal opinion, too. Like, sometimes you can use key doors, uh, almost, uh, in combination with the secrets on your level to hide powerful weaponry early on in an episode. I know an episode that I'm actually currently working on does that. Um, it utilizes a key in the very first episode that you don't need to exit the level, but, um, the key itself is hidden in a secret, and the, uh, key door is right towards the end of the level, very out in the open. And it really makes you question, how do I open this? What's behind it? Do I need to open it? And uh, there's actually a, a, a powerful weapon in the very first level right behind it, if you can untangle the, the web of secrets <laughs> needed to get to it. Um, so, yeah, okay. Uh, we didn't get all the secrets, um, and I'm not really interested in going for 100% kills. So I'm going to guess that's the it. Um, just E2M4? Yeah. So, yeah, this goes back to the uh, E2M5 of uh, uh, Doom 1 there, so... Uh, I guess, uh, closing thoughts on this one? Um, I mean, obviously it was made by, uh, someone a long time ago, so there's, there's something to be said for, you know, not being too harsh on, uh, wads that were made back in the early to mid-90s, right? The game was still new. People were still learning the tools. The tools were still very primitive in that time. Um, I personally was a big fan of Wad Ed. I know, um, I don't think it was a very popular editor, but it came with a book I got called, um, uh, Tricks of the Doom Programming Gurus, and it was actually the editor that was used in the uh, tutorials and walkthroughs in that book. It was very helpful to me, and I got very used to using it. Um, obviously, these days, everyone's using, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, Doom Builder? Doom Builder 2, actually, I think it is. Um, very great program. Uh, very, very intuitive uh, to use um, if you're at all interested in making Doom levels. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, th thoughts on one-on-one. -on -one. Um Mm, what it, it took me like 12 minutes to get through it and that's with me stopping to consider you know textures and architecture and things of that nature so kind of a short level all in all um, not particularly difficult even on ultra violence didn't seem to have a ton of monsters in it uh, was a little surprised to see the cyber demons I was glad that I did not have to fight them even though it seems I was given plenty of opportunity and ammo to do so if I wanted to um, uh, very simple um, I, I guess my biggest criticism of this one would be just a, a uh, a lot of um, misaligned textures, very strangely aligned geometry, um, just a lot of uh, overflow or uh, cutting off of textures. Um, you know, those kind of things can really uh, kill immersion uh, if you're not careful about it. And that's why uh, making good wads, you know, is a very time-consuming endeavor. I mean, even if you have the flow of the level down... Uh, you spend a lot of time in the details and making sure everything looks good and lines up. And, you know, you can even go back to the uh, original Doom 1 and you can see that even, you know, the people at id, you know, were still learning this lesson themselves. Uh, their levels had misaligned textures and, you know, just, you know, they didn't, they took a lot of cheats. Like back then it was a common cheat to put a, a breaking texture between two misaligned textures. Um, common one being the, uh, the kind of metal support structure texture. I think it's like 24 pixels wide, but you actually can use it 16 and it'll still look good. Uh, and just using these kind of breaking support structures to kind of hide the fact that the textures on either side of them are misaligned. Um, just kind of little tricks like that they use to get around putting in all that extra work. Um, but it is time consuming. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try not to be too harsh in this series, but um, I think a little more polish could have been done in this one. Now the flow of the level, not bad, not terrible. Um, uh, one thing that I personally like, now granted this is, you know, I'm sure there's differing opinions on this, but um, one thing I dislike about 
uh, something this level did is there's no obvious uh, indication as to how Doom Guy got into this level, right? There's no entrance door. Um, and the fun thing is, is that a lot of the levels in Doom use the same entrance door. There's a texture that very clearly indicates entrance door, and you pretty much never see it used in any actual capacity as a door, a real door in the game, except maybe as a secret if you turn around and open the entrance. You know, I think that can be done in... Um, what level? I think there was a level you could do that in. I, I can't remember it offhand. But, um... So just seeing some indication as to how Doom Guy got to the level, either a use of an entrance door that isn't actually a functioning door, it's just a texture on a wall, but, you know, uh, or a teleport pad that, you know, again, non-functional, but some indication of how he got there, you know, not, rather than just being plopped into the middle of a room like this one. It's like, well, I don't know how he got there, you know. Um, I like the use of um, uh, the... Uh, non-standard door shapes, kind of the angled doors with larger, you know, kind of weird geometry sectors that would open. Uh, that's always nice to see. It's a nice thing to experiment with sometimes, rather than just your kind of boring rectangle doors. Um, uh, yeah, so I, that, that's about all I have to say on this one. Uh, it looks like I would wager that the author was um, just experimenting with a lot of different stuff. There's a lot of different themes and motifs in this one, like the checkerboard crusher room, a lot of different color choices, you know, the little hallway with the red stripes was kind of a nice touch. You know, I, I like that. I wish there was something in there, especially since you had just gotten the chainsaw. That hallway was a, a prime candidate for some pinky demons. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, all in all, it's okay. I wouldn't say it's great. But, you know, I'd, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. You know, it was playable. It, hey, you know what? You could finish it, and it, there didn't appear to be any unescapable traps. You know what? So that is worth at least a few points in my book, because I suspect as we go through this series, we're going to find some levels that have plenty of that, and you may find me ending those uh, videos prematurely, because those can get pretty frustrating. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I will be back with um, another one, uh, another part of this uh, series, uh, with another one of these watts very soon. Alright, have a good one.